Hey everyone and welcome back. We are here playing uh, Escape the Dark Castle again today. Uh, no Pokemon, no no making models today. Uh, instead, just doing some some board games. We played this uh, a couple weekends ago, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had had Charlie in the chat on by, but today it's just uh, myself, Paul, and Davis. What's up? Oh, and we are going to be uh, escaping again. So we'll give uh, kind of a, a recap on how it's played as we go along, because I know not everybody uh, that's watching now was here last time. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, um, but we think you guys will enjoy it. It's a lot of fun, uh, kind of cooperative play, uh, but at the end of the day, we'll see if the dice are nice to us today. So uh, if you want to take us away and, and show off the, the starting card. All right. <laughs> Ignore the spicy. Um, also, what's up to, to Ben, Jay, and Yo-Yo in the chat? Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yo, yo. Sorry, comics corner. I uh, got to wait till Tuesday for that bad boy. But um, we've got some dark fantasy here, so uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. All right. And with every adventure in the Dark Castle, we start with this card. After years of incarceration in the depths of the Dark Castle, you finally break free of your cell. In a small stowed room adjoining the cell block stands an old wooden chest. The lock is open. At this point, each player draws an item card. There you go. There you go. And it's important yes. with this expansion that we're playing that uh, each person individually draws their card. We got a stale loaf of bread, an elixir, and a ritual chalice. That's a new one. So uh, pop this if you're right. just popping into what the game is, it's like a cooperative uh, dungeon crawling game, but with big cards. It's like very uh, story driven. 
So there's a lot of text on all the cards, and it, each card's going to have a bunch of text uh, describing the, the scene and what's going on in the scene. And our goal is to escape the castle and defeat a big ba defeat a boss monster at the end of it. And in, it. Yep. And in, the, in between that, we're going to be fighting other monsters or feral humans or falling in the pit, pit traps and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we just got to do our best to work together, roll some dice, and get out of this alive. And the item cards help us do that. So what we have here is a stale of stale bread. Oh, another thing too, we each start with 14 life. And if one of us gets down to zero life, we lose the game. So the decks, the deck of cards has a lot of bad stuff in there that's going to hurt us and deal a lot of damage. But we're going to try our best. So for our item cards, uh, we have a stale loaf of bread, which we can discard to gain two life. We have an elixir of insight, which discard before any round of combat to change any chapter die to show a trait of my choice. And then a ritual chalice, which we can drink some blood. So always, always a good choice. I don't think it really matters who has these cards right now. Not at the beginning. At the end of each round, uh, before we go to the next chapter, we're allowed to like uh, throw our items around to see who wants or needs something the most. But for right now, let's yeah. just well, we're just getting into it. So also, it's important uh, who whoever opens the door, yes. uh, they might be attacked by certain stuff. So I guess Paul, you are the tail, or no, you're the abbot. I am the abbot. The abbot opening the doors. I've got some bread, so I, I guess I can take a hit for now. So sure. That's... Also, what's up, uh, Vic? Thanks for joining us. All right, let's see what's behind door number one. Hopefully the stale bread. Uh, Ooh, I don't know. Fingers. That's uh, yeah, it's a band of skeletons. That's yep. good. You are set upon by a horde of reanimated skeleton warriors. You become separate, and each player must fight alone. Oh, great. Oh, it's good. All right, so each player is going to roll a chapter die to represent the skeleton attacking us. However, the skeleton can sense weakness. Players with less than half of their starting HP must roll two chapter dice instead. All right, we're, we're good on that end. So we each got to roll one of these. Yeah, we each got to roll a chapter die. All right, and then, Gabe, this is rolling first. Well, it's a chapter die, so it's this one. Yeah, yeah but then don't we fight them? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I will let you go first. Okay. So I roll a an eyeball. Eyeball, which is cunning. Yep. Okay. So that means that uh, for him to beat it, he's also got to roll the. the I eyeball believe that's on what this one says. Die. I rolled a uh, asterisk, which asterisk. Is wisdom. Yep. And then. All right. No uh, players can rest. So, so we each got to roll this, right? I think so. No player can rest until the skeletons attacking them are defeated. Or is that just its total life total? No, though that's the one attacking yeah, us. solo ones. Okay. Uh, then a player aiding another takes damage as normal and must declare who they are aiding before they roll. Okay, so we all roll? Yep. Okay. So let's go. I do not, so I take a damage each time, right? Yes. Uh, I didn't get it mine either. I did not. All right, so we're out <laughs> after, the here. That's a great getting start. by an army of skeletons. Uh, everybody lost one life. Uh, we start off at 14 life. If anybody goes below that, um, if, if we all die. One dies, we all die. All right, we did it. All right, all right so Paul does not take damage. Yeah, so Mike Paul, and I Paul killed his. No, no, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't take damage because I rolled a uh, fist with shields on it, so it didn't match the asterisk icon, but I got the shields. So that means that uh, no damage taken, so... That's something. So I can now, since I defeated my skeleton, I can choose to either rest or I can help one of my uh, teammates. I Mike. think I should help Mike, who uh, has to roll an asterisk, and yeah. he's not very good at that. While my abbot, on the other hand, is. So, also to each of our each of our characters have a special die, which shows uh, these little pips here, and some of them are stronger in other areas. Some of them might have more cunning, might, or uh, wisdom. That's what these symbols stand for, and then that's how we defeat bad guys. So I got mine. Okay. I did not, but with the assistance of the abbots, we get them. Yeah. All three skeletons are down. So that's a that was combat, right? So we. Yep. So another thing, after we defeat a bad guy, in this case a bunch of skeletons, we get one free item card. Uh, who wants to draw it? Uh, okay. yeah, go yeah, for so it. Taylor will draw it. Okay. We got an apple. Apple just lets us get one health back. So it's important, uh, even for the items to. Uh, Figure out who's actually going to be pulling it because there are curses in this expansion which are negative items. <laughs> Vic says uh, dice look like they feel nice. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense, and they do. Like these are not like no, they're not cheap dice. Ones. Like they're they're and actually like pretty they're, detailed too. Like on some of the items or some of these. Yeah, they're big and there. chunky. They yeah, exactly. they they feel good too. They have a nice clapping sound. So a little dice ASMR for you. All right. Well, all our life total is still pretty high, so I'll open the door again. Oh yeah. Ooh, what's this guy? Whoa. All right, a masked cult elder wielding a ceremonial dagger mistakes you for fellow cult members. He slices open his hand, then raises it towards you suggestively. 
Okay. As a group, choose one option. Join him in the blood pack. Each point loses one life, but you pass yourselves off as cult members and he goes on his way. Um, deny him and reveal your true identity, identity and begin combat. So, well, uh, to be fair, I am all for us pretending to be cultists. It's, um, yeah. I have an apple. Paul has, uh, has some stale bread. Because and... he's hitting for two. So, if we don't even defeat him in one round, in the first round, like, we're going to be taking more than... Yeah, way I mean, more I'm okay with uh, being being a cultist for now. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say, like, tactics wise, we're saving some health, but also flavor wise, I am all for cutting my hand open for this guy. So, uh, I, I mean, think we'll, all, who, we'll... <laughs> who of us hasn't joined a cult for like you know a seasonal adventure? Yeah, so, yeah. We just, so we all taken one then. You're yeah. all taken one. Like the only the only negative here uh, is Ugh. that we're not going into combat, which means that we don't get a chance to flip an item. And items, you know, might be better for fighting the final boss. So we're, but we're taking three life instead of, you know, possibly six, six or, or yeah, 12 exactly, yeah. if we yeah, yeah, don't do it in a second. So. All right, well, we okay. slip on by. Exactly. Nice See you later, hands, Pete. hands bloodied, we wave goodbye. Later, Pete. You pass a simple wooden table with several items on it. One of them is a bottle of dark liquid. Desperately thirsty, you are overcome with a sudden compulsion to drink it. You, so that's me, must try to roll might, or a double in one attempt. Success, the blood brings you renewed vigor and a gain point of life. Failure, you fall into a blood frenzy and begin attacking your fellow prisoners. All other players must roll their character die in unison. Any player who does not block loses one HP at your hands before you finally come to your senses. All right, let's see if I'm strong. Enough. Oh, nope, you guys are, uh, gotta make a roll. Yep, yep. <laughs> Abbott, Abbott drank the, the Malort and Coke, so. So we got to roll shields? Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I roll, roll a shield. Nope. All right. So, so you take I, one and I take one. I block no, it. just you. Yeah. You just got swung on by yeah. the abbot. All right. I'm going to eat my bread, my apple. All right. So you don't lose any life. So I discarded my rotten apple to gain one life. So right now I am at 11, an 11, 11 life. Mike is at 12. Paul is at 12. Well, I've been on a roll, so let's keep opening these doors. Yeah. After you've had a nice <laughs> sip of the good stuff. My, my thirst is quenched. Guy, yeah. Yeah, who is this man? Half concealed in the gloom ahead, a hooded man is crouched, examining something just out of sight. He notices you. His is a curse, and suddenly unleashes spite projectile from his sling. Okay. Ooh. It strikes your brow, and you fall dazed on the stone floor. I lose one Thud. HP. Okay. So I go down to 11. You are helped to your feet, and upon reaching the spot where the figure stood, you find a stone tomb forced open. Ooh. The grave robber has fled, but you appear to have interrupted him before he could collect his spoils. Draw an item card. Ooh, All right. spoils. Hey. Let's see if... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, sweet. Exactly. I got that. Yeah, I know. Sweet. I got knocked on the head, and now uh, I have been cursed. Your soul <laughs> is tainted with a deep agitation. Your mood begin becomes foul. Your lust for violence dominating your actions. You cannot rest in combat. All right, so this just sticks around with you. You really shouldn't have drunk that whatever yeah. wasn't that that last room. Yeah, what a raw deal. Yeah, the hits keep on coming. Says Vic, not wrong. All right, so should you heal? Because that's the one where you drop below six. No, 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 no. This, this is one, this, this one is one like the last rest. Rest. Oh, okay. resting yeah, again. Rest. Resting again say. during combat lets one uh, oh, heal so heal one health and kind of avoid taking damage. Uh, so Abbott can basically not right, well, bop out of combat. I can open so. the door on this one. Yeah, I should probably stop opening doors. But Paul's going to read because he's positioned at the table to read. Oh, my oh. favorite boy is here. <laughs> a hooded man approaches. He looks cautiously over his shoulder, then whispers, asking if you wish to trade. Each player may choose one option, discard any item, and draw two more. Negotiate. Try to roll a double in one attempt. Success. Your silver tongue pays dividends. Draw an item card. Failure. Your primitive appeal fails flat. You get nothing. All right, so at the top here, I am definitely going to exchange mine. This is, it's a cool card, but we, we don't really need it that much. Um, so in, in this case, I get to throw this away, and then I get one, two. Ooh. Oh, so got, this yeah. one, this we potion do. lets me, like, avoid taking damage, which is good uh, for one for one bop of a hit. And then this one lets me, uh, or well, lets a character re-roll their cunning, the eyeball dice, to another side and choose between the two. Uh, so, Taylor over the here Taylor has the highest cunning of all of us on cunning pips on there, so I'm just going to donate that there, and I'm just going to hold on to the, uh, hey, take no damage for That's one. That's each for each player, right? Yeah, for each player. Uh, should we get rid of the ritual? Oh, yeah. Well, 
Well, you just gave me something, right? So I can just discard what you gave me. Well, no, yeah. it's all the same. I mean, it's happening all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we, Besides, we, we don't want you to that. discard Let's... your rusted foil. Um, oh, yeah. I'll let you show you. Yeah. I've got a cell of loaf bread. Uh, it's pretty good for food, but discard it to get two better ones. Yeah, yeah possibly. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. All right. Ooh, a cunning concoction. Discard a plenty any cunning. And, oh, sweet. That's Rotten so Shield. Nice. This one says whenever I would lose health, reduce it amount by one, down to a minimum of one. So. Anything that deals more than one damage is dealing one less. Yeah, so it's pretty good. So, so about this uh, ritual chalice, this cult cult chalice, where I can drink some blood. Do you want to keep it, or do you want me to lead it away? Um, Here's this card too. That's yeah, a yeah. that's a <laughs> solid <laughs> one. That's pretty later. good. We want to be using it for a while though. It's not if we use it all. It's not going to be until the end. Yeah, like that's one that's going to be like it's taking just up pretty, space. taking up space, and then we do pretty well at mitigating. Only I can only really see it. It's just if. Uh, we get that stupid curse where we have to uh, keep our life total high. Yeah. Um, yeah. Generally, the chalice we've used it before when one of us has taken one too many hits on the rest, and we're going into like the late game where um, the boss especially could kill somebody in one hit, one or two hits. So somebody who is I'm okay gained with a lot, ditching it and just getting two new cards. I think it's early enough to where we can safely do it. Yeah. Surely nothing bad will come of this. All right, let's no, trade this away be, this creepy chalice. This won't be some blood. turning point in, in our story where right. we look back at it and say, man, I wish I had that cup. Kevin the traitor? Oh, you great. Low Always, off. yeah. Oh, man, read that. Uh, when this card is drawn, all players immediately lose one health. Next, place this card to one side and finish drawing the number of item cards dictated by the chapter card. Then apply this curse. Any items just drawn crumble to dust before your very eyes. Wow. So, so I, I break on another item draw? Uh, yeah, wait, what did it say? How many chapter cards? Uh, the next one. For th you, you finish drawing items for this. Whenever you... Then a any items just draw and crumble to yeah. dust. Place this card. Oh, so I just draw one and it just goes away? Basically. Yeah. Alright, so then this goes away, right? Yeah, so that one... Yep. That one's That's gone. not that... We all lose thing. one Yeah, line. we all lose one. I got a mark yep. that. And then that means that this gets thrown away from the, the item pool here. Wasn't so. that lucky, now yep. was it? Um, but yeah, so not bad. We we got a little greedy here. We threw away the cursed uh, uh, relic, and it looks like something kind of came back to haunt us for that. So. I think there's only three curses in the deck. Wait, is there three or five? Uh, I think five, because there's, there's still like the one arm one, etc. All right, and straighten this out, Paul. You're back. As you pass an ornate mirror in the bedchamber, twisted versions of yourself step through it with murderous intent. You become separated and must fight alone. All right, it's another one of those we each get our own buddy. This time it's ourselves. Each player must roll their die twice and place corresponding chapter dice in front of them to represent their doppelganger. Place only one die for each double rolled. Begin combat. All right. So we got to... So we each got to roll our die twice? Yes. I'll roll well, we got to roll our chapter die twice. Yeah. Each... So I rolled an eyeball, and then I got to roll it again, and I rolled another eyeball. So I'm facing my doppelganger. My doppelganger's health are these two eyeballs. He can see you very well. Exactly. I'll just place it up here for me. All right. I have a wisdom and a fist. Which one's wisdom? This one? Yep. <laughs> Still don't know We've only played this like 20 times, and... So I gotta fight an eyeball and another eyeball, which are we'll see how that goes. Well, we can aid, right? Uh, eventually. Uh, I mean, yeah, to be no player can rest till their doppelganger is defeated. They may then either rest or help another player defeat theirs. A player aiding another takes damage as normal. Yeah, must so it's, so it's kind of like the, the the initial combat where we're fighting those skeletons. So we've got to we've got to finish what's on our plate before we help anybody else. So. So yeah, go for it, Mike. We'll go for it. Um, I got Ooh. one eyeball, so that's one gone from my side. Yep. Uh, but I still take one damage, so. All right, so I'll go. All right, I got my fist. Got a fist, so that's. And then I roll mine, and I didn't roll anything, so I rolled this, which does not move remove one of my eyeballs here. Yep. So we each take one, right? Yep. Nine, ten, nine. Wait, wait. Don't forget you've got the cunning. Is cunning no, this one? Cunning, no, that's no, no, not no, cunning's eyeball, <laughs> which is what you want. All right. So I'm rolling mine. I got wisdom, which is not the eyeball, so. I got wisdom. Which is the wisdom. <laughs> All right. I beat my guy up pretty well. 
Oh, oh man, Davis and I are well, just struggling with our inner demons these days. So days. here, right. I'm going to help Mike on this one, because uh, one, I can't rest, so I'm going to be in exactly. combat, yeah, and fight. my eyeballs are the worst, Uh huh. Sure. so exactly, yeah. I want to try to help you, so that way you can help Davis. Exactly, yeah. Oh man, I got so, one. So, so wait, got I, one. wait, wait, I can actually re-roll yep. that. So I'm going to re-roll this, because it's what I want, yes. because I have this item card that lets me re-roll, that's pretty good, and I can have a chance to roll double double eyeball, yeah. which would be so, much better. So he gets to re-roll and shoots. And we get and it. There we go. So, yeah, perfect. Right, so Boom. he knocks out his eyeballs. These are, these are dead. All right. Go away. Oh. Mike, have you rolled for this turn yet? I have not yet, um, and I'll probably need the assault. Oh, no, you go. got it. Got it. Let me roll two. Andre, like, get in there. All right. You gave some wise, <laughs> some wise advice, and we have... You should hit him in the eye. Exactly. Oh, interesting. Whoa. Uh, All right. Since we, defeat, since we defeated our doppelgangers, we get out an item card. Yep. Who would like to draw out the uh, item me. card? Yeah. I'm just jumping on that curse. Ooh. Ooh. This is a good item. We've had this before. This goes well with your flail. Yeah. Whenever you roll a single, it counts as two singles of that trait. So, that's so and since he can like, he's gonna be rolling the most, so he's got the the best chance of getting like effects for those cards. Sometimes it's best to give one person more items than somebody else because they can take advantage of it. Oh wait, wait. You're opening door, right? Uh, yes, I should open the door. I mean, cut. Well, you can't rush, though. What's my life at? You're at nine, but you well, can't rush. But right? I'm also at the highest. Yes. So it's either me or Mike. Yeah, but you can't rush and gain life back, so we're going to have a harder time gaining, giving you life. Okay, Mike, would you like to open the door? Uh, Yeah, Mike gets shield, though. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm... Oh, should we... That's yeah, should I give my shield, shield I mean, away? Yeah, yeah. I mean, since you're not... Since we don't want to really take an unnecessary damage, it's also it's harder to heal you back Shout out to Royce for making our sweet you token so we know who is uh, opening the doors here, so... You! You! Oh. You can see it better. Yeah. There we go. Let's see who the you is. Um, so I'm opening the door. Get on the floor. And I'll read the door. Everybody oh. the dinosaur. Well, this lady looks nice. A feral woman appears behind you. With an intoxicated slur of curses, she staggers towards you and gives chase. Axes raised and jaw gnashing. As a group, choose one option. Flee. You make your escape, but a perfectly thrown axe buries itself in your shoulder. You Ouch. lose 2 HP. Or fight and begin combat. All right. So we can either have Mike just take two and this or with the shield. With the shield, it only deal one. one. Or we could just go to like pummel her because she's a three die. This little icon on the monsters means you roll a, ca a chapter die for each player. Yeah. There's only three. Uh, in this case, um, you know, she said some pretty pretty rude stuff about all of our mothers when we came in here, and that's not cool. So I think that we're gonna go to combat, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's only it's only three random dice. Um, chances are we'll take her out in the first yeah, turn. You can so. see that that little meeple symbol. That's the symbol we roll. We roll a black die for each player. Mm -hmm. so that's what Mike's about to do. We haven't had to do this yet. Yep. So here's our first combat one. Boom. So we got a we got a spread here of uh, two wisdom and a might. Um, wisdom. Our abbot is strong in. Uh, I've got pretty good mic too, and Taylor should be able to land something in between. I'm so. going. Ooh. Double oh. wisdom is already gone. Okay. We need might. Uh, I just need to get a might. I did not. Padre, any help? Nope. All right. So, man. All right. So this kind of I got double these. So this is gonna remove that. And then I have a shield, so I'm not gonna take any damage. But the rest of the team takes I, two. But I've got the other shield, so Mike I take one, one damage. Yeah, Mike takes I one take damage. Two. All right. Paul takes two. Give me, give me back my shield. Yeah, uh, see, one of us rest. I'm okay. terrible what? at rolling this symbol. I mean, yeah, you rest because I've. In but then theory, you've also got a really good chance of. Farming it, but now yeah. you should rest because you can't, and I've got a high might anyway, so I should be able to get. Right. right so true. Davis is going to take a nap on this fight. All right. Let's get in here. Boom. Well, Ooh. I'm at least not taking damage. Hey, and neither am I. Double fist, so. <laughs> Boom. So, All right. That's that's what she gets for talking trash about. So we only technically took like two points more damage than yeah. I say, but we get an item out of it, which isn't the worst scenario. And unless Let me get this it. item is... Hey, that's good for me. That heals two health, so there we go. I think, I think Ball should eat that now. It's like the yeah, let's eat it now happens. so nothing bad happens to me. Yeah, that's fingers crossed. So yeah, we can use uh, items and trade items at the end of the, end of the chapter card. Be opening the door again? Yeah, uh, I'll open the door. Yeah, hey, Fred's back. Bread's back on the menu, boys. Ah, the smell of incense is strong in this chamber. As you step over the piles oh, of bones that litter the floor, your limbs begin to feel heavy and your vision uh, swims. To resist the effects of the incense, each player must try to roll a double than one attempt for each player. Success, you make it to the exit and slowly come to your senses. Failure, you feel deep bliss, but begin to stagger and sway. Your arms drop to your sides. You lose one HP or discard an item. 
then make another attempt. If you have next succeeded after three attempts, you make it to the exit dazed and disoriented. All right. So we got to roll our die three times and try we're, to roll it. We're our... trying to roll a double. Somebody want to go first? Me. Okay. Not, no, a, double. One. Not a double. That's one damage, or you can discard an item. You've got good items. You don't want to do that. Mm. Okay, you're good. Uh, so I, took, I got my second roll, so I'm taking yeah. one, so I go to eight. Snap to his senses, going through the incense. Double. Oh, hey. Abbott's not even not even flinching, got a double on the first roll. Uh, and Cook pulling up the rear, going through here. I uh, got a single. Not going to throw away my items. Uh, got another single. I'm really falling for this incense. And so I Ooh. just, I am completely dazed and confused here. Took three damage. Uh, and that's how good. You, how you could have discarded an item yeah, to yeah, loot. But, yeah, but that's, that's one life, yeah. And I'm not throwing over my shield. Like, I just uh, all right, I think we should incense. give the shield to myself or Paul, and I, we should open the door. If you give it to me, it, that might be fine. All right, I don't know how many more you doors are going to be hurting us, and that'd be good for me in combat. You! Man, this could have been a good run for the Abbot. Got super drunk. Yeah, we needed. Got dope super exactly. high, but now I had to resist. I need the dope shield now. Yeah, I mean, Abbott's Abbott's drunk. I'm high. Taylor, straight edge. <laughs> for life, exactly. He keeps not falling for anything. Smacking his back with the uh, with Taylor's the Taylor's the only one making out alive here. Yeah. All right, let's Ooh, go. Now she got the scar. Ah, this boy. Pineapple. A monstrous winged creature swoops at you from the darkness above. Its hunting cry is deafening. You must try to roll cunning or a double in one attempt. Success you wreck quickly and dive aside. Begin combat failure. It clashes. Its claw slashes your shoulder. You lose two HP. So I have to roll cunning. Well, I, feel like I could just apply cunning. Uh, yeah, sure. That I seems... mean, the thing is, are you concerned that much about taking what would be one, one health? Because remember, yes. you have the shield. So, so fair enough. Not, we no. could maybe apply the cunning yeah, to avoid. Say, we might, well, it's we always going to be one yeah, We'll need it in the fight, probably. So. What? All right. Okay, I take one. Wisdom, not cunning. All right, so another guy too. So like how we expl explain the meeple, we got to roll dice equal to the number of players. This guy's also coming in with that symbol too, so that's also part of his health. So, so he's, he is, he's guaranteed these ones. Um, and then we'll roll three for him because we've got three characters. So we got a spread here of two eyeballs, two wisdom, and one might. So. We've got we've got a good amount of those, so we'll probably be fine. Should but Mike rest? Not for the no, first one. Five. Yeah, for this first one, I, mean, I, yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. I could air break and do that. See, so yeah, I'm gonna fight. Davis rolling. I got the uh, eyeball. Got the fist. Let's get double piety. Ah, uh, one uh, piety. piety. So we got rid of one of each. Yes. So. I could have applied the cunning. Want to re-roll re -roll the eyeball? Oh yeah, let's roll. I forgot, let's double let's see that. see what goes there. One, you might get a double. All right, no, no. No. Whenever you roll a single, it counts as two singles of that trait. So, yeah, I rolled the eye, so I could just... Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah you're so, right. Okay. Eyes are gone. Good point. Uh, so close. Yeah, dang. So, I take two... Mike, are you discarding this? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll block. To, I'll take a swig of this potion. So that Mike's discarding me. this item to not take damage. Yeah, so and I then, take none. And I take one. Uh, and now, wisdom is the last trait that's there. That's... Abbott's highest, my lowest. I'm gonna rest because I need the health anyway. Because right now I'm at what four? You are at six now. Okay, yeah. Go went from five, rest me to six. I right, got it. So there's that. Got Let's see. Ooh, not to be Ooh. outdone. Yeah, <laughs> the double, the double wisdom from the Abbott. All right. All right. So we got him killed. Uh, item card. We... Cook, take an item. Oh yeah. Throwing me on this on this curse. Well, you need one. Yeah. Right, liquid liquid luck. luck. So this one lets me basically re-roll uh, any dice roll. So that could come in handy. Uh, or, we'll, in clutch. or we'll die in this next room. Uh, Abbott, you still want to open it? I should probably open it because most health. Oh, this one. <laughs> you enter this door, you are forced to push aside thick uh, thorn covered the vines. <laughs> they spring to life, binding your wrists and hauling you into the thicket beyond. I lose one health. They are binded. Hacking at the aggressive weeds eventually causes them to recede through the cracks in the old stone walls, leaving behind the belongings of previous victims. Draw two item cards. Wow. And this guy's ID says his name was Your mom was Leonard. Two item cards. Liquid luck. And, ooh. Ooh. Oh, so, I mean, this is good. So this is also, too, we, we played a lot of the base game, but there's three expansions with this game, and we have shuffled in two of the expansions. That's, so, so this one, this is part of it. An icy wind blows through the castle, and the ghost of a woman in chains appears before you, with 
Without speaking, she projects her words directly into your minds. Prisoners, be free at last. I fear my soul is fading fast. The first prisoner has joined your group. All right, so uh, the basically uh, this is a companion, and what they do is they've got their stats of their own at the top here. Like she has, man, she's got a lot of wisdom. We are like, we just need to fight a lot of wisdom dudes because uh, we got that in spades here. Um, but her shtick is she's only going to stick around for what is it, five events? She gets to do five, five actions. Things. She gets yeah. five actions. Yeah, she we, doesn't we, have health like the other companions. Yeah, Vic, we've got to we've got to go. She acts. She's a, she comes into the party and we control her. We treat her like a like an actual real person. So whenever uh, she would open a door, roll a die, that counts as an action. Yeah. So once she gets five, we shuffle her item card back into the deck to possibly redraw later because uh, she's a creepy apparition. Yeah, and I definitely think uh, the way that we're going to treat all of our companions is as mine sweepers <laughs> and pack mules. Um, so well, they can't carry items. Only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only yeah. When we, when we get another boy, um, she comes yeah. with a die too, so she can help attack. Yeah, she's got a my uh, um, spirit joins with you thing, which basically I think lets us. Uh, Hold up. Does it allow us to end the encounter? Uh, no, this one doesn't end the encounter. Uh, each player may choose one option. Draw one uh, HP, or sorry, draw one card or gain one HP. So that's actually pretty solid. Her spirit is with us. Each player or just one? Uh, each each player. player. Wow. That's right. Yeah, so, so that's actually pretty solid. So we'll, we'll drop her down yep. right here. Yeah, that, that little symbol is she's got on her die a Over special ability. Yeah, yeah. So if we roll that, we get to do it. The other two uh, basically just allow you to skip that current encounter. Yeah. All right, so is she opening good, a door? pretty good. Um, I think so, right? Because... Might as well. We've only got a few doors left. Yeah, and uh, if there's any traps, uh, we need the ghost to take the hit and not us. Yeah. So, right, so we'll say this is the ghost opening. Hey, put the, uh, the U on her. Oh, just, just so we don't forget. This one's, this one's for you. Brings back memories. Oh, fudge. Whoa. I don't, I don't think we've seen this guy. Yeah, no, I have not. It's big boy. Paul, you want to read what he's... He's got a... Luck, he's got a... a what us. is that? Can you read it in ghost voice? That's a Guthin helmet. That's sweet. Wait, is that, that, wait, is that a RuneScape? This is, no, he's got that is Derek's great axe, and that is a Guthan helmet. I, are you I'm about not. RuneScape and I am not. I'm talking magic. The artwork. No, in it, it, no, in, Ru, in RuneScape, there's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's what they look like. I swear that that has to be inspiration. <laughs> yeah, Vic says thick boy has entered the chat. <laughs> <laughs> looking, looking to RP on that. He's, yeah, he's, he's trying to squat one of us. He's a large RP. shape in the darkness ahead resolves into the formidable form of the castle's executioner, well okay. known to all prisoners for his lack of remorse. He addresses you directly. Oh the jailer promised me your heads. I'll take what's mine. <laughs> Big in combat. Oh, he's a... Sup, sup Guthan. A um, boy here. <laughs> also, maybe this is me. He has he has the cultist symbol, but he doesn't do cultist damage. That Not is, that it matters, yeah. but... Uh, well, that's He's got to prove his worth, man. you got to harvest yeah. some souls. He's actually... <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. This actually just says power in that language. Strength. <laughs> Ooh, and he's bringing that might too. He's bringing in the Jesus. fist. I'm gonna Google this real quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's just the fanboy of the cult. All right. He's a poser. All right. Let's <laughs> all roll. No, he's just on hire for the weekend. That right, washes yeah. off. I'll roll the spirit. I'll roll the spirit die as well. I'll roll the spirit die as well. Oh, oh, hold up, hold up. All right, so we'll we'll resolve that at the end here. So uh, put that to the side. You've got the eyeball. Oh, I got to re-roll this. Oh yeah, too. can you re-roll? I'll re-roll now. And this so, also counts as two. I was gonna say, so the the eyeballs are basically covered. Uh, I got two of the fists, and I'm blocking, so that's good. All right. Uh, but wrong that's die. Wrong, wrong die yeah. <laughs> Oops. Hey. Right, so we got we got. Uh, one of the, we got the piety out of the way and uh, all right. So do we want to? We have to discard her to get the item card in life, right? Uh, yes, and I think we're going to. Thanks, thanks, Ghost Lady, for coming on by. But well, um, I think you should well, discard she, the re. Does she like, go away when that happens? Yeah, we have to. I think. No, no, like she doesn't go away when we, we yeah, do that though. Discard this companion card along with oh. this corresponding event card. Oh man, all right, yep. That's but, a May ability, right? Nope. No, it just says discard. So it happens. We added the um, second expansion. It's sick. Ooh. Uh, okay, Have you so. Been in action before? All right, so these are gone. Boom, these are gone. So we've got one fist left. Um, Only. I take no damage. That Paul doesn't fine. take any damage. I take sure. two. Yep. So I am at four, and I will rest. Um, uh, what are we gaining from our. Uh... So out of her, we could either choose, uh, each character gets to choose uh, gain one health or draw an item card. I'm kind of all for drawing item cards. Uh, also, when she dies or is discarded, uh, we, we shuffle her back into the deck. So did we have the event card? Uh, I think he probably put it back. That's right over here. Okay, yeah. So yeah, uh, 
I'll shuffle this real quick when you guys decide. Uh, I'm you at want. five. Should I just take the life? We have, should, we're stuck. I'm, I should probably stuck. take the life. Means, I if anything, rest. we're trying to draw into double axe. But, uh, spare lady. I mean, I'm going to take the life. Also, while I'm shuffling here, uh, her special ability, it says, the air suddenly fills with the screaming of countless tortured souls, <gasps> and, and the spirit vanishes into a blinding flash of light. Crash. A blinding, okay. a blinding crash. Of so, so here's the Guthen Full Helm. All right, show it to that. Put it on okay. the camera. Yep. There, there's, yeah, look, look familiar. Look, look at this Guthen Helm. Look very close. Look, okay, let's, this, let's look at that great axe real quick. Generic helmet. <laughs> yeah. It's just the fact that they're both. That is oh, very. Sure, sure. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't put it past it if that is the case, but it's just hilarious that that is the first thing that you notice. <laughs> You got that. I thought you were going with that, that uh, Gruul commander from Magic. No, no, no. And, and here's a, a Derek Great Axe. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, it's close. Coincidence? I, Coincidence? Think I think not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll, we'll let you guys in the chat decide. Um, so basically, uh, are we all choosing an item? Uh, I'm, I, I, think I'm, life. I think I'm taking okay, a so life. You got the life. You got the you life. Mean, we have um, two bad items. How much health am I at? Everyone, everyone's at six now after I gain life. Did you, uh, I gain life? Did you choose the game? I'm choosing the game. I can't rest. You're at seven. I'll go with the crowd here and all no no just get game. the item card your two item cards are not good um you have two of the same do we choose what, what happens when we're fighting right, whatever because you could get an apple which is the same thing oh, oh okay but, uh whenever you roll a double you may change it to uh any single if you do uh the double does not apply uh um, nothing do each player can only hold two item cards yeah so do you want to well we can't really swap because we're in combat so I no we're done we yeah we, we beat him we did yeah. Can we? Can we roll? Oh no! I was, I was picking an item for. for this is for this. The, this is for spirit. Oh. oh, we still have a fist. Yeah, we still have a fist. Oh, we still have a fist. Yeah. We're still in combat, boys. Okay. All right. Thick, so... thick boy hasn't left. Oh, yeah, now he's resting. Yet. That's why he's still got a few things to say about us in our heads. So yeah. Um. So yeah, I'll hold on to this. Uh, you're gonna rest. You said. Yeah. I, I've, I, I've I've got the highest might, so I'm gonna go. Because I was at four, I gained the life, and then uh, I rolled this. I'm going to discard this to re-roll because I've got faith that I'm gonna kill him. Uh, and there it is. We did cool. it. Get out of here. And we get an item card. Fanboy. <laughs> um, we get an item card. I'll flip that. I'll take the risk. Oh, man. Oh. So here's, here's, here's a new item. Uh, well, new to the, ex the second expansion. Uh, it's basically a spell book that has its own properties and its own die. Let me grab that die real quick. This one. Ooh. You want to show the die? Go for yeah, it. Yeah, so we've got some sweet skulls, uh, lightning bolts, more lightning bolts, skulls. Um, so, so you that's could, you could choose to roll that special die, and then you get more bonuses. So uh, you can do more damage, you can heal light, heal more, or I forgot what the, the, other the one. But the problem is, it's a two-handed item. So that means that any one of us that have two items already, we've either got to chuck those very or big page. I can this around. chuck yeah, this cunning con uh, I concoction say, and I take say, the room. Also, flavor-wise, it, it it feels that you should be holding the book. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I would just give you the shield. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. I'll, Get rid of this God book. is your shield. You don't need that. <laughs> All right. You've got your book now. I can't wait for this to explode exactly. in my face. <laughs> yeah, the thing yeah. is, if you uh, roll the skull, the book burns away. Yeah. <laughs> it I, hurts we, you. We've only gotten that book one other time, and <laughs> I've only rolled it, it once, and on the first time, I flubbed it, and I got the, the skull, so it, it the, the book disintegrated into dust. It's like a one in six like chance rolling the skull. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, <gasps> my book! But, but then again, I wasn't worthy to, to, to hold it. So, um, on the back here, uh, this just kind of shows... Uh, the different uses that it has and what the the uh, skulls so or, or more, so it breaks down to more life, more damage, right? Yeah, you, more, you, more life, more damage, or you get more uh, more dice roll. Like you, you you pass things out of combat. You pass like the out of combat um, challenges. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we all good then. Yeah, those flip back this, cards. This, I think this makes more sense with you. The whenever you get double, you can choose a tiny single. Sure. Trade it. It's essentially like just having doubles anyway. Yeah, and then this one lets me just roll doubles because yeah. I feel like I've never I've never rolled the doubles, so I feel like you should have that. Um, yeah, we're getting down to it. Oh, I've got, spirit's gone. So who's the you? Um, it is. I'll I'll, I'll make it me because I've got the shield now. Um, I've got six health. Like Paul only has seven. He's got the most, but I've got the shield. So surely nothing bad will happen. Start resting aggressively. Surely we won't find any like stink monster here. Godzilla. Uh, you lose one HP. Oh, <laughs> well, what happens? As you wade through the sewers, a reptilian creature bursts through a waterfall of filth and claws at Splish your shoulder. Flash. You lose one HP. As a group, choose one option, then begin combat. Tackle the reptilian head on, and we only have to go up against three die, and he hits for three. Or we draw it out in the sewers, and we have to just fight him for more dice, but he deals a little bit less damage. 
Hmm. So you took a damage from that? No, I don't no, know. I, it was me. Oh. Yeah, it's Florida man. He's a, he's uh, <laughs> he's joined well, us. Mike's now at five. All right, so I'm at five. Um, uh, and should now... we just hit him head on? Yeah, hit him head on. Um, we have spellbook. I think you should spellbook him. What? Well, what I mean, we well, first we got. Well, first we can see what we're even. Uh, what his health even looks like. But yeah, we're doing the. the heart we're gonna thing. do yeah, the yeah. head oh, yeah. on. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm I'm all for that. All right, so eyeballs and asterisks. So surely we'll be fine. That's my favorite D and D campaign. Exactly. All right. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you need the book. You just gonna. We have answers. the book. We have to use it. <laughs> you don't have to though. That's the thing. He's terrible on eyeballs and ask. Oh, he's no, fine he's, on he's asterisk. insane on asterisk. Yes. I'm and, you're, and you're really good on eyeballs. And I chances right. are I'll get one another. So. Are you sure? We don't. Well, want he can also, I mean, also gain life. He can also gain life too right now. Sure. I guess that's true. You can't rest. So you can use that in, in instead. A book. Yeah. Yeah, that, but I don't think he should be doing it on the you. three one. Because if he if he takes three. That's fair. All right. All right. Well, do you trust your asterisks or do you want to? Make the book go to waste. <laughs> uh, well, let, let's try it once without. Yeah, exactly. Right, there's an eyeball, which there's a fist. I will re-roll mine. Yeah, because. Right. Oh, there you go. So let's get an eyeballs. asterisk. Surely we'll get an asterisk. No, surely we'll get an asterisk. We got nothing that we can do to get. Well, I got a spell book. Whenever cool. I roll a double, and no, you're, 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 you're. Yeah. So nothing to. <laughs> You guys take three. Mike take two. Yeah, I take two. So Mike's not taking two. Three damage. Paul's <sighs> taking three. You should just spell book it, man. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I'm gonna rest. Okay. Paul, do you want to heal and then? How do I know? Wait, no, never mind, never mind. Davis, how confident are you that you're gonna get a double, which you can turn to the asterisk, and then the Abbot can heal one of us in the meantime. Yeah, just roll a he just roll for heal, and I'll take. I'm re-rolling the book. Rolling yeah. the book die. Here comes the book die. So are we doing revive? That's still good. <laughs> okay, let's do obliterate instead. I rolled a fist. Not good. Yeah, just go to obliterate. Let's see this book in action. Exodia! <laughs> obliterate! Ooh, that's bad! The broken, the broken lightning bolt. What's that What's that do? Paul, oh. on, your, on your book. <laughs> oh, I lose one HP. <laughs> you take so three. You, so you take three damage on top of that, too. And I die. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I get hit for this because we didn't. Because I don't roll. <laughs> yeah. uh, All right, so ooh. if you, it's hard to follow along. So what happened was Paul rolled his special rolled his special die because he has that crazy book. He rolled this symbol, and that means for he, obliterate, which is the spell you can cast during combat, uh, I lose one health. Yeah, so not only does the book crumble, we no, all No, the book crumble. doesn't crumble. I was going to say, yeah, the, well, I the mean, skull the, crumbles and I lose one well, health. The book's when, still there. When, you're, when, you're, when your head is lopped off and, and the book falls to the ground, I'm sure yeah, it'll So, crumble. Paul drops the three life, but since we weren't able to get rid of this stupid fist... No, it was an asterisk. Uh, oh, we weren't able to get rid of this stupid <laughs> asterisk because none of us are cunning enough? No, I, yeah, so, apparently. Uh... Florida man took a big swipe at all of us, and then uh, Paul well, got his. Not only that, but up. Um, uh, where's the Lord? Where's the yeah, what's, what's this say on the side here? So, well, he's looking at that number. DCA one, chapter ten. DCA one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, also with part of this game that's really cool, they have uh, two different types of books. They have they have uh, their one. their lore chapter books. 10, 10. Uh, so there's uh, a book on the lore on how the characters end up in the dungeon of the Dark Castle. So we can, that's, it's like, what, five pages per, per person? Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's insane. Pretty, pretty intense. But also, there's a death book. So each card has a code on it, and we can look up the code in the death book, and it will tell us how we died in gruesome detail to Florida Man. Okay. So yeah, Mike's looking it up second. right now. Shelf, this is what the, the, the normal book looks like. If you want to, like, maybe pop it open. But, uh, but yeah, this is what it, this is the death book. Oh, this is the that's, that's that's the the lore book. So this is the lore book that talks about uh, the characters and uh, how they got to the jail, and it, you know, it's good quality. The paper feels good, but just typical yeah. book. No I, illustrations. I but chat from Vic, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And then like here's just the PDF of like each each chapter card has its own little paragraph of how you died there. So in this case, to uh, to Florida man. <clears throat> The reptilian takes hold of you and throws itself into the rushing river of filth below. You hit the water hard, thrashing helplessly as you rolled over and over, oh. uh, tightly constricted by the claws, spines, and jaws of the water beast. In a few terrifying moments, you are crushed, drowned, and dragged under, disappearing, disappearing below the unending torrent of sewage. 
Without you, the rest of the party is overcome by forces of darkness and slaughtered. Long after your mortal frames have rotted away, your spirits lived on. Tortured souls doomed forever to haunt the castle, the passages never finding peace. Your adventure ends here. So we, so you got you got sewage watered all over you, but now Davis and I, we have become spirits of the castle. <laughs> Anybody need a suit made? Oh my god. I wish I became a spirit. Uh, Vic says, uh, this game looks uh, so quality. What's the min minimum of players? Uh, you can actually play... Two. Well, no, the minimum is one, but it, oh, lets yeah. the, it lets the one player play as two characters, so you can still choose, you know, like, who is the you, who's opening doors and stuff. Um, it's a maximum of four players. So from one to four players, but yeah, usually you want uh, two to three is definitely, like, the most fun. I mean, we spitballed it. We could probably fit five players, because the way the game works, we start at a certain amount of life per player. So, like, for three players, we start at 14 life. For four players, you go to 12 life. So I guess, theoretically, you could add a fifth player and go to 10 life, and you make it hard. But think we could do that yeah because the bosses nothing... are set up so that way like it, it would, it's not easier technically the more people you have um because the bosses scale with the amount of players um but yeah there's also three expansions none of those add uh player uh, well they add like uh different characters but they don't add like an extra outside player but the thing is um i think in october uh theme born the creators of the game i think that they're having another kickstarter so it's always, I guess, a possibility that they might add a, a another expansion that might expand to more players or fun stuff like that too. So, um, Give me a room so what is it? it's basically like almost five o'clock right now. We're usually streaming till six. That first one was about an hour. You guys feeling like doing one more? Yeah. We, we roll new characters another. and uh, and keep the same bad guy at the end. Uh, yeah, yeah. So the thing is, uh, we didn't we didn't show it here, but um, there's one of these cards that uh, the boss door is the final the sixteenth uh, level of this. Um, castle we didn't open this one up so we'll leave this one as is we'll keep it uh we'll keep it down here and uh davis is going to uh re-roll uh 15 15 chapter cards for us so yeah very ominous doorway uh yeah yeah Vic, i'm a huge fan of the the visuals in this game like the black and white aesthetic alongside of just all of the cool stuff like the different monsters the different encounters the... um even just the characters, too, to some degree. A lot of the artwork is deceptively simple. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, like, the closer you look at everything, yeah. especially all together, it's very uh, aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, and just, like, evocative of what's going on. Like, everybody looks like they just have a thousand-yard stare. Um, everything seems appropriate. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and it's appropriate that we are now chained-up ghost ladies. Well, at least... No, uh, you guys are both chained up the, ghost ladies. The, the, co the, cook and, the cook and the tailor. The abbot is, is buried under a, the, what is it, the torrential uh, uh, waves yeah. of waste. Yeah, sewer, sewage. Yeah. So that, I just that, took 15 off. I just randomized 50. I didn't shuffle the old ones in. That's fine. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll get, so that means we'll get guaranteed new rooms. For Do we want to guarantee so. new uh, characters? Yeah, yeah may as well. We'll take out so, these. So, yeah, three. where's... Uh... Oh, there we go. There's the smith. There's All right. me. Mike, pick a number one through... Four. Six, four. I think we should keep uh, yeah, the face yeah, down. Yeah, 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 the face no, down. I will. I will. Just... All right, Mike. Not Mike. Paul, pick a number one through five. Uh, one. One, two, three. Oh, you said one, right? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Davis, pick a number one through four. Uh, we'll pick four. Bishop. Oh, man. So one of the expansions involved, like, a lot of the characters are kind of balanced already with, the, with what pits they have on the side. But the first expansion put in these really lopsided guys where I have six of this symbol showing on my die, but only one of these ones, which is brutal. Yeah. And look at this guy. Yeah, so he's, he's the bishop. The abbot, uh, in our first game that Paul was playing, uh, the abbot was um, heavily into wisdom, you know, being a, a holy man. Get, but oh, okay. the bishop, being higher up in the ranks, is just wisdom, basically. Yeah, he's so, just wise. Exactly. He's never thrown a punch in his life. Exactly. Why would he? Uh, and I will be playing the Mason. I'll be playing the role. Of the, oh, hell yeah! <laughs> yeah, we're so gonna have Mason, one of those. Mason is Mike, basically. Where are you? Uh, well, well, we'll see in a second. Mine yet, but Mason is basically again the kind of like the the bishop, but in terms of strength. So this guy's gonna be knocking dudes out real good for us. He's got a lot of strength. Demo man. Uh, and we'll see. I am Tanner. I am DJ Tanner from Full House. Uh, and Get out of here. I uh, I've got a lot of wisdom. Um, mediocre uh, cunning, and then thank God abysmal. we have some cunning. Yeah, because I was gonna say right now. If we get any cunning stuff, I'm t Tanner is kind of going to be the default. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, did you get my dice? Is Tanner? Yeah, Tanner. All right. 
<laughs> I don't know how to take that. Uh, thank you, Vic. Uh, she says uh, uh, Tanner is uh, basically how Mike looks already. So. Wow. Where's the? Did I? Did I shuffle the other card? And here I thought I was gonna get uh, uh, beaten up, beaten up in the game, not in real life. Oh no! It's the lips. It's the lips. Yeah, well, Davis looks like the bishop. I do. And I, I, I look like the ball. mason. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it's the goatee. I guess that's what's doing. I don't know where the capital card's at. Oh, I have it right here. All right. Well, you still want to be in your Sure. All right. Uh huh. Vic says I met the hair. Mm hmm. All right. Where was it? Where's the Smith, real quick? Yeah, I was gonna, yeah. Show him what what. The... Is he in here? Yeah, yeah Smith should, should be, be in the bottom. Oh. Yeah, Smith is is the character that we that I've joked that uh, looks probably the closest to me. He's even got a hat on too. Like, come on. That's just a male tanner. Exactly. Yeah, take take a mental picture of that and then see me on Tuesday for the comics corner. You're like, hey, look, it's a tanner. Exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we were we're all kitted up. Uh, everybody got their, their die. Mm -hmm. We've got our die on our yep. dudes. Uh, it's the coconut head. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we good? Uh, yep, so same thing. Uh, we, we've ended Years the of incarceration have left us wanting more. So now we're going to try to get free. Uh, let's get some items. I will draw mine. I get nothing. Uh, evasion. Basically, if I would lose yeah. HP, I can prevent discard this damage. to prevent the damage. And we have blood chalice again. <laughs> okay. It's back at us. Oh. This lets us give up our blood to let someone else drink it to gain life. And then, uh, oh, hey, a rune. Uh, the rune that uh, my character had last game. So I guess somehow our spirits found us and, and bestowed upon us the same kind of set of it before. So can't except, complain. Except for me. Um, All right. Mason knocking down the door with Bishop. Oh, yeah. Brave uh, enough to, to get in there. Or is Tanner just cunning enough to, to step foot in there? I first? feel like some of the cards we've encountered, we have to roll might more. Yeah, well, maybe yeah. it's like might and cunnings. Well, I was going to say, if it's, if it's cunning... How many doubles do I have? We all have the same amount of doubles, right? Yeah, but yeah. Your, your, doubles, two. your doubles are only wisdom, though, is the thing. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's punch this door down. <laughs> oh, no, I punched back. <laughs> the smell of manure is thick as you enter this chamber, flanked by wooden animal stalls. Mm. An agitated beast of burden has broken free of its pen and now blocks your way. It is cornered, mighty horns ready to gouge anyone who gets close. Begin combat! So we need to get an eye and three more. For each round, when it attacks, this creature deals an additional point of damage to any player who hit it. All right. So if we when we bite, when we battle this guy, and if we don't kill it, whoever hits it takes damage. Yep. All right. Let's get in there, Bishop. All, All right. right. I got double shield. All right. Get some fists. Eyeball. Sure. The one thing that I that I'm bringing to the table here, uh, mm -hmm. eyeball. Sure. So. So this is gone. This is gone. Should I use my evasion right now to get rid of three? To dodge three damage? Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. I, I don't want to be taking two. Because I didn't hit it. Wait, you, yeah, you, you did. did. You got the eyeball. Oh, I wait, that's right. I did hit the eyeball. eyeball. Do you want me to hit it? Or no, you should hit it. Yes. And, and then, then you, you, you dodge it. three damage. So I think that's about as yeah, good so, as this card ever yeah, gets. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I'm taking... We're all taking three. Two. I'm taking three. I'm taking three. You blocked, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I, did. Oh, I did. That's <laughs> sick. So Mike is taking two. And we're staying the exactly. same. Yeah, Tanner getting wailed on. I didn't even want to be here, and now I'm getting <laughs> walloped by this this uh, All right, let's beat this, this beast of burden. All right, so we need double fists. Okay. That's not good. Bishop just sitting in the back being wisecracking. All right, I at least... Whenever you roll a double, you may so, change it to any single. So if I get exactly. a single so fist... If get one fist, I'll... It's not a single fist, guys. Um, so okay. I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to block, because I'm not going to keep taking damage like this. Um, okay, so good luck. I, I take two. I mean, well, do you want me to take damage too and make this a fist? That doesn't no, seem... No, no. I, I mean, it. it's pretty bad. We, you, we only, he's, our, he's our fist boy. All right, fine. Well, you know what? I'm taking the hit early. I'm going really, to... You're going to take gonna, three? We're drinking the bishop's blood later. Don't worry. We're getting back in here. Oh, yeah. I can just, you can just drink my blood later. I got a lot to spare. So, yeah. I'll, I'll swap mean. this to a fist. Um, I'll take... We'll take one out. Let's see if I can get a fist. Yeah. One of you guys should rest. Mike, rest. All right, Tanner. She did her best. Time to rest. Bishop still being wise. And okay, we got fist, him. So. Finally, I rolled a fist. Uh, My guy who only is, rolls fists. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but okay, let me get this item. <laughs> yeah, I right, liquid luck. So we get to re-roll if we want to. Um, did you add my health for resting? Yes, you're at ten. Okay, awesome. Uh, wait, why am I left doing that? Um, ah, Tanner, whatever. 
well rested. Surely nothing bad will happen. Ooh, something bad happened. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> You wipe dust from the lid of a large tomb, hoping to read its inscription. As you touch the lid, slides open, and a giant knight rises, bellowing that you should not have disturbed him. As a group, choose one option. Bother me. Flee. As you run, you are hacked by the revenant. You lose three HP. Fight. Uh, all players may fight as normal, but you are the only player that attacks. Sure. And you, uh, the giant attacks, and you may not so, rest. So Tanner, the bratty teenage girl, just like knocks over over the lid on this coffin, and now I'm just getting wailed. So on are we? Oh, okay, I guess we're. Yep. All right. So we've got to try and kill this guy early. Uh, fortunately, we, it's a lot of wisdom. So Bishop's been only rolling wisdom. Uh, sure, get the eyeball. The one thing that I'm going to help here with. Well, you got wisdom. I guess. Okay. Double eyeball. I'm not touching that wisdom. I'm blocking this. Okay. Um... Well, I might as well roll distinguished because... Distinguished gentleman, indeed. Uh, double fist doesn't help anything, but nobody else is taking damage except me in this fight, but since I I'm rolled taking the shield... It. No, no, no. no. He, he's the one that gets I'm the one that's being oh, fought, and yeah. since I rolled shields, I take no damage. So this first round, we get to take an eye out for free, um, and now we just got to roll a lot of wisdom. Should I not roll? How much health do you have? What's my luck? You're at 12. Of 14. I've got a 1 in 6 chance of helping. Yeah, just take, take a nap, okay. Mason. I might need to give that blood up later. You know? Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. eat, eat your cookies right now. Hey. Oh, beauty. Worked out perfectly. All the asterisks are gone. Mason got a chance to take a breather. Get out uh, of here, This guy is dead. Skeleton. And Tanner reaches into the... It loses an arm. The, uh, the, the tomb and it, finds an apple. Who's, uh, who's hungry? I think you are. Yeah, yeah how old am I at? Ten. Make that a level. <laughs> It's fine. It's the rattling of, of the, the the tomb. The dungeon. The dungeon. Exactly. Royce, the dungeon Royce. <laughs> don't worry, it'll happen. Um, do you want me to open the door? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. After last time, the let's rattle of a garbage bag. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ah, this one's great. Ooh, scary. You pass through a chamber which serves as a cesspit below the castle Ooh. privies. As you pick your way through the filth, something unusual catches your eye. Hmm. Draw an item card. Hmm. Ooh, what was that glinting in the uh, underneath this the dirt? In this pit is pretty. Ooh, easy. the fury shard. Once per round of combat, when you roll a double, you may roll again and apply both results. Whoa. Oh man, that's pretty good. Doink. Whoa. Uh, that's good. Well, unless we want Tanner to double up on two double things, but well, I won't be greedy. Neither of them allow you to roll more doubles or have like yeah. if you had the thing that like whenever you roll a single, roll, which is insane. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this is essentially letting you, yeah, whatever. But it's, I would, yeah, also good item because item. Yeah. since I'm going with fists, I guess me having more. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That's when cool. I roll, if I get it, throw it up on. All, All right. right, let's open up another door. Oh, I hate this man. I hate him so. Oh. <laughs> what is he saying when we're going through here, Paul? What does he say? You'll, you won't get to it, but yeah. Yes. As you feel your way along the lightless passage, a faint whispering sound reaches your ears. It's a single word hissed bitterly over and over. Mine, 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 <laughs> mine. The sound grows closer at a rapid rate, becoming a scream as a clawed hand is thrust towards you from the darkness. Mine! <laughs> you must choose the option. Flee! You all get away, but you must lose either 2 HP in an item or 3 HP, or we begin combat. Uh, last time we had a lot of bad luck with this guy, even though he's only dealing one damage. Crush him. Uh, we could crush him, or I could take two and just lose a liquid luck. Crush him. Crush him. Also, uh, real quick... Uh, potential of just, like... Losing two, and then everyone gets an item. Yeah. Or we get an item card. Also, Vic says, hopping off, lads. Time for dinner. Good luck, later. Thanks for stopping by. Later. Uh, hopefully, uh, you can always check on YouTube if we beat this guy or not. Uh, we crush or if he exactly. hits us all for five, like last yeah, time. Exactly. Are we crushing? Yeah, we're crushing. Right. Okay. So we got basically one of each plus uh, an extra eyeball. So a good spread, and we'll see how it pays off for us. Bishop, doing what a bishop knows how to do. Double Woo! eyeballs. So we're Let's see if I can get a, a fist. Fist. Which is what you're good at. Woo! Yeah, well, oh, one fist, him. two fists. And a shield. Mine no doom more. Fist. Exactly. Doom, doom fist. Exactly. They're calling you doom fist. <laughs> so we crushed them. Uh, that means we get an item card. Anybody feeling froggy? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. All right. So we got the, the uh, loaf of bread. Loaf of bread, which gives two health to somebody. Uh, so we should eat that. No, we can probably wait. We can wait. We might want to discard yeah, more I'm, items. I'm, I'm okay. I'm always scared of characters that make us discard cards. Yeah, I was going to say, but we're, none... we're going to get mugged soon. And then... Yeah, we all have like a good chance of... Who's opening the door? Um, Paul should I open again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. At the end of this passage is an old stone well. As you reach in to test the water, it thrashes into a violent torrent. <laughs> You have disturbed a malevolent spirit. Begin combat. Combat special. <laughs> you are incapacitated for the first round of combat, during which you do not fight and may not rest, but still take damage. Good. Sweet. You recover at the beginning of the next round. So Paul basically might be taking a, a, a free two damage hit on him. I, I love free two damage. Oh, good. Fists, because, yeah, there's no way we're going to get those to away. What's happening? Basically, I don't, oh, I don't roll for the first. Also, <laughs> also, remind me after this of shuffling of items, because I, I meant to bring that up last time, but... Uh, See what happens. The blast risk and an eyeball. Man, if only we had a guy who could take out fists. I'm right here. <laughs> All right, so uh, you blocked. Yep. So you take two. I take two, and you take. Yeah, we I, both take two. Yeah. Mike's at nine. Falls at eleven. Okay. You can red soon. So don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna you rest. Should, you should take a rest. Yeah, Mike. I rest. With, fist is my lowest. Uh, Mine too. Stat. But I'm at full health still. So. And you got bread. Well, that's my bread in a second. There's one fist. Just get a fist, boy. Hey, Woo! we got fists. You got fisted. Finally lifted my arm and did something. Exactly. Put down the turkey. <laughs> First down. First time he's he struck was, a man. He was trying to go for the loaf of bread, but he missed and punched <laughs> the malevolent spirit. It's my instead. bread. <laughs> my bread. Mine, mine. Bishop is just going to become this guy by the end of the story here. That's the bishop. They do Once look, he drinks from the ritual chalice. Fair, I guess maybe it's the bald head, but they do look kind of similar as, as is. So. Sunken. Yeah, sunken cheek. All right, I'm, um, I'm taking the item. Mine. Ooh, brew of might. I don't think I've seen this. Discard to apply a single might at any time. Here you go, Mike. Uh, yep. Also, so real quick, we got some food. Uh, I am at 10 of 14. Does it make sense that I eat the two health? Sure. So there's that. And two health being used for... Do you want to open this door? Yes. Uh, uh, also, real quick, hold up. How do you feel about this one? Whenever you roll a double, you get to change it to a single of anything that you want. You've got a lot of might. Do you want to use it to farm... For other stuff, yeah, and then, you or the, your yeah. double basically means that, like, chances are, like, we want to, like, yours means we you're get to load up on a lot of might. You're still going to get because we room. want might. You think I'm going to be needing it more? Yeah, well, no, I think you can still, re like, the way I'm ready, you still be able to get the free reroll off the double, mm -hmm. but you can change the first double to one of the crappy symbols you don't, you don't have. Okay. So it's, well, well, I was, I was saying, I was saying, I'll take the fury shard off. Yeah. <laughs> Point being, like, this one I don't really need because you, one of you two basically uses this better because. Yeah, like it lets us. It pretty much get, it lets our doubles. Act I see as what wild. you're saying. It lets yeah, them yeah. act as wild. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So essentially, we've got like that, and then two, two. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, exactly. Because that way you can actually. Well, actually, three choose. at that point because there's two doubles. Anyway. Exactly. So yeah. Okay. Uh, Davis, the, the door. The floor. Oh. The floor and door is yours. So speaking of <laughs> moaning and wailing. Your spirit is suddenly wrenched from oh. your body, paralyzed. You can only watch as it drifts above you. You are, are incapacitated to restore your corporeal balance. The other players must roll in unison, keeping track of any wisdom rolled until they have rolled a total yeah, wisdom you, equal to the number of players. players. The wisdom, the thing that you've got. After each wisdom. attempt, you lose one HP unless the total has been reached. If you have not succeeded after three attempts, the curse is broken and your spirit returns. So basically, to you. this is what we're fighting. We've got to try and get uh, three wisdom at the end of three rounds. Uh, each round that we don't get it completed. Uh, Bishop here takes uh, one oh. damage. So, all right. I also at, also Bishop is at fourteen, so no, he's, he's still cool. healthy. He's, he's fine. He's the chonky boy but, right but now. But his soul is being just ripped from him at this My moment. soul. Let's get wise. There's two of them. Oh, thanks, pals. That's not. That's that's one. So we get this. Uh, Bishop takes one damage. All right. Uh, yeah. Do it again. Yep. Not what we need. Show me some doubles. Nope. Help oh. me. All right, help me. All right, one I more. am at twelve. Not gonna help you. Wow, I, I rolled you. the same one three times. Exactly, that's what you're good at, though. Oh, All I right. know, they're both same Mason. I'm gonna hold this against you guys. No one's drinking my blood but me. It's my blood. Sorry. <laughs> no. All right. Well, opening the door. Something is blocking the door into this chamber, and you are use your shoulder to force it open. It Ooh. is only when you step inside. <laughs> eggshell crunching underfoot uh -oh. that you realize you have destroyed a creature's nest. Did I tell you I was a state linebacker? <laughs> I went to state. 
there is a mournful wail as it's Holy approaching you. from the darkness, its sorrow soon turning and to fury. All players may fight as normal, but you, the only player, or the only player this creature attacks, and you may not rest. All right, it's angry at you, Davis. All right, well, I'm taking all the damage. Let's get a fist and an eye. Well, we got to oh. see what we're rolling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, it's got a fist and an eye, and then three more. Here, I'll roll the three. A lot of eyes and a fist, mm, so fighting. no wisdom. So the thing that you're good at, throw it out. The thing that you are both good yeah, at. Yeah, throw it out. We don't okay. need it. Yeah, throw well, it out. Well, well, at least you block. I'm blocking. Good. He's tanking it for now. Eyeball. Fist. And one fist. Got it. Okay. Roll so I don't here. take any damage. Yep, that's, that's good. good. That's clutch. Yep, yep. All right. Let's go again. All right. I'm All right. blocking. I mean, hey, this is working out. Like, we're just getting, like, free stabs at this guy. Uh, double double eyeball. Can I get a good. fist? Try again. Can I get a fist? No. That is not That a fist. is the first fist. I think I, it's not been a fist in like so five the thing rolls. is, I could crack this to take damage, but we may as well take one more round. Yeah, we get one more roll. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You're, right. you're real great. Okay, well, now there we got is. him. So blocked, fist. Now, we were getting prepared. Yeah. Padre got his spirit back and like that unleashed something Locking in him. him with the exactly. Chat, exactly. No, I just imagine he was just standing there with like, his face not moving. Like his, all the attacks like side, missing. Yeah. Just dodging, leaning side to side. Okay. Item. Item. Mm. Yeah, nothing back then. Mm. <laughs> Discard before any round of combat damage. Combat to change any chapter die. Yeah. True true. So the elixir. Uh, should what are life total? I'm at eleven, twelve, eleven. Let's roll the die. I will open the door. Too many oh. doors. This part of the castle is a perplexing maze of narrow, musty passageways, each darker than the last. To navigate the labyrinth, all players must roll in unison, keeping track of any wisdom rolled until they have rolled a total wisdom equal to... Okay, so three wisdom again. After each attempt, if the total has not been reached, all players lose one HP from exhaustion. And must try again. All right. All right, so, so we each got to roll three times? or We each roll um, and see... Basically, so let's all roll together now. Let us all roll together. Okay. Where did my there it is? Okay. I so, rolled a double. Doesn't that count? Mm -hmm. I can discard the re-roll. I don't think uh, it's right now. Yeah, each player keep track of any wisdom roll. Doesn't care about doubles. Just cares about oh, wisdom. Gross. So we all take a point. All right. Back in there, keep it wise, boys. That's mm -hmm. not wisdom. Not mine's a wisdom. <laughs> All right, two wisdom. We take those points. Let's get that third wisdom. We got it. Is. it. Did it. Here's my wisdom. Ah, oh. oh, so close. All right. Um, what are we looking at. Uh, I'm at nine. Mike's at ten. Paul's at nine. I think it's. I'll try one more. Uh oh. In this sweltering chamber, a blacksmith is forging a sword. Glutes, man. Yeah, we've been That's working out. out. <laughs> he is so absorbed in his craft that you spot an opportunity to steal from him. Oh, hell oh, yeah, sweet. we do. Let's steal from the blacksmith with all his swords. As a group, choose one option. Move on. It's not worth the risk. Turn the next chapter card. Steal. Nominate a player to try to roll cunning. Well then. In one attempt. Success. Oh, well, well. You relieve the blacksmith of some of his wares before slipping away. Draw two item cards. Phil, you were caught red-handed, and the blacksmith turns his hammers on you. Each player loses two HP. So we, we could lose six health, possibly to get two items, um, or we just walk away like nothing happened. Um, Tanner's the only one here with actual cunning. It's not even my strongest suit. This definitely feels like a bad idea to try and roll for it, but how, how thirsty are we for some items, boys? Well, I mean, we got, if you're getting real thirsty, I can give up some of my blood. That's yeah. That is the the ultimate thirst. Um, uh, I don't know. It's it, it's it seems like bad math. Yeah, I'm gonna vote against it. Yeah, I don't think as an much item as I like to steal from three. this. I see some bread in his pocket though. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are you sure about that, or is he sure it's not cursed bread? Mm. <laughs> it's got cursed bread and a witcher inside his pocket. I want to take a nap while you guys figure this out. I, I, I vote against. Yeah, it. Yeah, I vote against it. Wake up. We're moving on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anyone else want to go for a door? Yes. Yes. Oh, it's our friend. Oh, hell yeah. You emerge into a small, sandy arena. In the center, a woman far taller and more muscular than yourself Ooh. raises her well-worn blade and calls out, You're Challengers, different. prepare yeah. to die. Well, I open the door. Yeah, Begin combat. Say, yeah, yeah. Bishop Before right. each round of combat, nominate one player to fight the arena champion. Only that player rolls and 
that player takes damage, you must fight in the first round. Players may not rest. All right, so you go first, and then we nominate someone to beat her. Okay. All right. Dave is rolling on in. Fist. Uh, I can re-roll that fist and try to get a shield, which I would like to do. Well, she's only doing one point of damage. Oh. Wait, why? How are you re-rolling? You can just that. use his inside. Uh, that, that's it's not necessary. Oh, not All right, well, I'm taking one. You get a fist. Uh, who shall we nominate next? Uh, Paul. Okay. An eyeball. The eyeball. One thing that I'd be able to bring to the table. Yeah, you can get uh, a fist. I'll roll. Yeah, you yeah. Get, no, we I'll yeah, roll yeah. Fighting. No, 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 no. I'll Tanner step it in. I take a point. Lady v. Lady. Boom. Double eyeball. Um, no. But, but once around, you, get you may roll. roll again and play both results. Both results. Sweet. Eyeballs. Triple eyeballs. Things she doesn't have. But I blocked, so um, no, no damage. Uh, I'm going to go again. Yep. Fist. Okay. Um, so I take one damage and a fist is done. I think the bishop should I was going to say, yeah, bishop get in there with your wisdom. Okay. So I'm going to just... Oh, wait. Wrong one. Okay. That's still not Yeah. yeah. Uh, take one damage. Okay. Maybe go again. Try to get... Yeah. All right. Double yeah, wisdom. Yeah, I and you like block. Uh, um, okay. Now it's me. So now, yeah, we could have you fight her. Um, well, I could apply this at any time. So we'll see what you roll. Yeah. Hey, we got her. There it is. Fist. And we got an item. So uh, who's feeling? Frisky? I'm feeling frisky. Oh, a battle axe. Two-handed axe that basically uh, you get to roll your normal die, and you get to roll just one of these generic chapter die, so you get to add that uh, to there. So that's we okay. could, uh, if you want to give me some of your blood, give me two of your blood, we can all be at eight, and I can discard my other item, and then Paul can get the two-handed axe. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna be drinking some blood here. So how's my, this working? Uh, you have to. You pretty much pay two life to give me two life. Yep. So I'm giving two up. So now we've even the uh, the, the life total to eight across the board. So do you want liquid the liquid item more than discarded. the elixir? Uh, I think the reroll is probably better. Okay. Yeah, because that's that's the thing that you get to. Have. Yeah, that item gets thrown away because it's not that good. Ooh, I got so, a so crack deck. So we got two. Hand, this is probably one of the best items in the deck. We think. It lets you roll an extra chapter, chapter die. die, so he gets the Paul gets to roll an extra black die when yep. he rolls, which is insane. But it's a two-handed item; he can only carry. It's also, I think, it's good for the Mason out of all of us because I'm going to be rolling. I need to roll for you know fight more than anything, yep. and so if I'm rolling extras, I can yeah get possibly yeah you know getting it'll, a double fist and then cut. I'll open the door. <laughs> I'll open the door. Oh. Ah. Right. Several armed figures spring from the shadows and attack. You become separate, and each player oh, must crap. fight alone. We're in mugged, boys. Yep. Roll a chapter die in front of each player to represent the muggers attacking them. However, the muggers want your items. Players carrying two items roll two chapter dice instead of one. Begin combat. I am only carrying one. It's, not here. it's, a big, it's a big enough to be two. All right. This is for bishops. Davis. This one's for Mike. This one's for Paul. Ooh, it's oh, a fist. He is going to get walloped. Let's wall up at this boy. So it's the wrong door. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll let you roll first. Let me roll oh, first. Yeah. Oh, oh man, <laughs> triple fist, just triple. uppercutted him. Head goes flying. Uh, and that's hmm. not what I need. Um, okay. Can you take one? Not I. Yeah, his, his attacker is dead. Are you helping? So yeah, I will helping be helping me, you. Right? Right. So, yeah. Choose to help or rest. He's helping. Oh, well, uh, oh, you can help. Oh, <laughs> I, would, Mike. I said. I mean, I'll be helping Mike. Yeah. Is what I said. That's what I mean. Hey! Wow! Wow! wow. That's kind of okay. insane. So we got we got three asterisks for this one. So uh, all of our dudes are dead. Um, what is it? We could have chosen to instead of taking damage, throw away. Discar item, yeah, combat right. special. Each time a player would take damage yeah, from a mugger, they may avoid it by discarding an item. Okay. It wasn't really that relevant. Um, this was combat, though, right? Yes. Yeah, so we, we still it's combat. Yes, yeah, so we still get an item card. Um, I haven't flipped a card in a while. Tanner wants to feel what it's like. Ooh, oh, hey, what Hey, happened? it's our friend the prisoner again. The first one. Oh, nice, it wouldn't blow man. through, and we welcome it. Found. Ooh. She's great. All right. So we got the prisoner again. Pop that right there. Uh, I'm going to put the event card by her and her dice. 
the spirit die, um, and we continue. Do we want her to open up a door though? We're getting yeah. kind of we're getting kind of down to it. Well, still got a little ways to go. So yeah, yeah spirit, we might have some of the more annoying you doors. You on her. Oh. And then tick around up with the yellow die too. Sure. First action. Ah. You interrupt a beast man devouring a fresh kill. He raises his head, sinew dangling from his gore-smeared mouth, then charges. You must try to roll might, or a double one attempt. Success. You react quickly and dive aside. Begin combat. Failure. You are slammed to the floor. Lose two HP. Begin combat. That's yeah, a good thing she opened. Yeah, she's, that's awesome. She Does this count as a die roll, though? Yeah. Okay. Well, it counts as... Yeah, yeah. So... Because it's an action, technically? Yeah. That's whenever she has a roller die, so... Yeah. I mean, this doesn't matter at all, because yeah, she can't matter. lose health, but let's go. Nope. No, she takes yeah. two health. She's a ghost. Oh, she's right good. The punch goes right through her, but her time on this All on right, this, on this plane begin is combat. Limited. We need a cunning and a might. Yep. These are always over here. Perfectly set up for uh, our bishop, our mason. <laughs> I guess. Let's go. Is she joining us? Yes, she rolls too. I'll roll her down. No, no. no. Uh, keep going. No, no. no. Yep. <laughs> there we go. We got it. One. Doesn't she matter. You take her up one. Yep. Yo-Yo is back. Welcome, Yo-Yo. We'll fill you in in, in the tales of what happened. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, mm. Yeah. So asterisk. Double fist and asterisk. And an asterisk. So um, we've got a fist and an eyeball left. So you don't take damage. Nope. Um, How much is it? Two. It is two. Um, hold up. Before we do that. If you were to re-roll, how confident are you that you're going to get a double? Not very, but let's do it. Because uh, then you get a chance to then get a double, turn it to an eyeball. the eyeball. Nope, nope. Never mind. <laughs> Can I apply this first result or not? Uh, apply the second result. Well, that got worse. All right, so we're taking twos. Actively worse. Um. Okay. Uh, Yo-Yo, how did the first game turn out? Um, Somebody uh, got... Florida Man killed us all. Yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. Drug Florida, us into dirty water. Florida Man uh, arose from the sewers. He grabbed Paul's character, dragged him under the... Uh, I'm going to rest. The, the, torrent, the torrents of waste. Uh, and then the rest of us got kind of swarmed by minions, and we became ghosts that now haunt the castle, much like the spirit of the first prisoner. Is the spirit going to be rolling with us? So, I think so, we, yeah, yeah. so we've re-rolled and we've made new characters now. So. You pick her up. And She's thing. up to three, yeah, yeah but now she'll be going up to four. So in yo-yo, in in shorts, uh, not very good at all. I hope I hope your trip went better. All right, right. this. Wow. Interesting. Yep. And you you were resting. Yeah. All right. Now I take two. Uh, Mike, you should rest. But we got a fist, though. How much are we at? Three? Yeah, three. Jesus. I'm resting. You're at three? Yeah. Okay, well, let's use the spirit up. And... My guys are rolling eyeball. Well, Jesus. Well, both of you block. I mean, nothing. Why, why does the spirit have blood? So I guess this is how they do doubles. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm at four. Uh, someone else should rest. Maybe. I, sh I should rest. I, yeah, you rest, because I've actually got eyeballs. All right, go. She's got one more action. Are we rolling? Uh, no, keep her, keep her safe. She has low eyeballs. I want her to do something else. Yeah, this, the spirit of Yo-Yo will, will... Yo, there's one. What the? I mean, oh, man, this is getting uh, getting kind of rough. Yo-Yo, I feel like actually since you've got here, we've been taking a lot more damage. All right, uh, I think... Uh, I need to rest. It's still well, two dice, though. Does Mike also rest? I think Mike, no, I, I don't I think Mike rests. I've got, I've got a fight, oh, though. I've yeah. got the eyeball. All right, well, Paul rest. Yeah, Paul right. rests, it's fine. Get an eyeball. Oh, man. For the spirit Well, one? if you get a double, you get an eyeball. Yeah, but... Oh, jeez. All right, we barely scared it. I escaped. We got by that one. We got. I'm at five, Mike's at two, Paul's at three. Good this lord. Look, look, um, what happened? What? Uh, nobody rolled eyeballs. Do we have the spirit take the item? Is that the play? <laughs> no, 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 she can't. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah, she can't hold it. Um... So, who wants to take the item? Uh, the bishop. An apple. Oh, an apple. All right, I so one health. apple. I'm eating the apple. Okay. I go back up from what, three to four? Yeah. Or two, All right, two to so three. is the spirit dead? No, no the spirit, spirit, spirit has right. Somebody gets to open the I'll door. Op no, I'll open the door because we want to try to have her roll her special symbol. Okay. Yeah. All right, so how much health? Uh, whoever. Mason is at five, right? Yeah. Mason. 
Am I at five? I'm at three. Yeah, you're at three. I'm at David. Three. Oh, okay. Okay, I read that wrong. So you there's... hear a scream from behind and turn around too late to avoid the clutches of a lurching ghoul. As a group, you choose one option. Flee. Get away, but you lose two HP, shaking off the ghoul. Begin combat. You are so fear struck that any wisdom you roll this chapter has no effect. So uh, we're fighting it, right? Well, we're automatically taking two, possibly the first round. Because wisdom doesn't count the first round. Yeah, and he, can... he comes with a wisdom. Wisdom Asher? Yes. Uh we, I think we should do it. I think we should fight you, Rust, and then Mike and I have a decent shot. Okay. Because, like, we can farm some rest. And here. the spirit will also be going yeah, with so you. We can well. farm some rest, so. All right. So, uh, we're going to fight it. No, we don't. No, we always. Okay. This won't be a game graveyard if nobody's dying. All right. I'll roll for the spirit. Well, you're rolling for the spirit? Yeah, why not? Oh, we want to get the, the thing? Yeah. Minus one. Oh, spirit first, nothing. First spirit. Scenario. The spirit disappears. Five five turns later, she's been used up, and I'm going to shuffle. She did not roll very well. Yeah, no, that spirit was kind of a waste. That was probably one of our spirits, to be honest. Yeah, she from, had from the last up. game. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, Mike's at one. I'm at three. So Mike's going to take a rest. Hell yeah, yo yo. You uh, guys, the the art on these cards is so sick. Yeah, you you missed us showing it off um, a little bit earlier to to Vic. I think while you were gone. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of great art on the the room cards and the characters and the items. Um, what was the? What did you say? Uh, I, you're going to rest. You're at one. I'm at one health. Yes. Okay. Get the tanner out of there. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that's good. That's good. Let's see if I can get some cunning. I cannot, so no, but I do block. You, you got cunning. You got the double. We turn yours into the, the cunning because it was asterisk and cunning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just turn into. You get to turn turn yours into a single whatever you want. Well, the double doesn't apply. That's fine. But yeah. Then, oh, yeah. So, so but then we kill it. Cunning. Or, yeah. Yeah. So we got him. Item card, Mike. Hold up. <laughs> Here's a I almost wanted to not do that because we could just farm more uh, more health. All right. So we get. I've shuffled. I've shuffled the deck because when the when the ghost dies, we shuffle her card back into here instead of discarding it. So there's a chance we might get her again. Get her card out of there. Um, get her out of there. I'll take it. Um, so yeah, we got an item for for being the ghost or this guy. Um, who wants it? Uh, I mean, the bishop I mean, will probably I... need it. Sure. I mean, not good. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's our boy. What happened? Is it our guard? Yes. A castle, guard, <laughs> a castle guard springs from the shadows and levels his spear at you. He looks you up and down, then lowers his weapon and lets you at a beat of gruff laughter. What a sorry looking trash lot, he says. If you're after get if you're after getting out, follow me. Who says that? The defecting guard. Hell yeah. Okay. Follow me. Oi. 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 What are you not doing in this castle? With the pudgy one. <laughs> follow me. I hear you like bread. I oh, got tons of bread over here. Lots of nice fluffy uh, So bread. his character characteristic is uh, if the depressing guard hits a enemy during a round of combat, uh, that enemy doesn't... It Whoa, he doesn't attack that round? Did we never use that? I don't think we did. There's a lot of text on that card, man. You expect me to read all of that? Jesus, Davis. <laughs> all right, he's pretty cool. So he's insane, is yeah. what you're telling me. And he's, he's only th the only thing is he's got three HP. So yeah, as opposed to the spirit, which like doesn't take damage, just has... You know, action You can rest too. Uh, is he opening the door? Mm, I don't want him to get some extra three. <laughs> he's opening. Okay, he's, he's opening, opening the, the door. door. Yeah. If he oh, so, hey. if the companion dies, we don't lose. Oh, what's this? Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> How much health do I have? Is this the doppelganger one? No, no, no. no. This, this is, is we some... have to be in unison, and we're yeah. not going to. The passageway ends at an ancient stone door. It is sealed by a magical inscription. In harmony, reward, danger, and discord. A chant must be performed to open this door. All players must end with the same trait on their character die after a maximum of three rolls, which can be taken in any order the player chooses. Success! Your chanting is harmonious. The door opens to reveal a hidden cache. Each player may gain which be a drawn item card. Failure. Your discardant chant triggers a trap, and the room begins to hot. Each player loses one HP, and you barely make it out alive. How much HP? One. Okay. So we all roll die? Yeah. Roll the guard. Does the guard roll, too? Guard counts as a player for everything. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. The only um, thing it doesn't count for is adding to this. I forget what this... I think this is anything. Well, hand me the rule book, I'll look. I was reading slightly about what a special is in these scenarios. I mean, we actually kind of need that special. Because if you can get us out of here, like, we dodge this thing. 
Well, we only take one. We're only taking one. Worst case. Oh, I thought it was multiple rolls. No, that's a different one. Oh. That's oh. usually a place like one person. This one says if we're not all able to, each player loses one HP, as you barely make it out. Okay, so we get one chance at it then. Got it, got it. Well, we get to do it three times. Oh, okay. Got it. Got because it. we're yeah, all yeah, trying to yeah, add so up thought... with the same Yeah, and they attempt challenges too. Definitely. So Okay, yeah. So we've all got to work and work together, boys. We've been in this castle. Oh, yeah, the, the explosion symbol during a boss fight counts as a block. Mm -hmm. The special ability does not trigger. If it's rolled outside of a combat, it counts as a double of your choice. Sweet. A double of our choice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter here. Special ability does not trigger. So. All right. Um, so we all, we're all rolling. We're all same. rolling at the beginning, and then we can go from yeah. there. Oh, boys. Okay. So here's the, the layout. So uh, I, I we, rolled I double rolled this. Beat. Because yeah. you guys, I my chances are rolling eyes. Yeah, 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 it's very yeah. low. Yeah. Long story short, um, no, no, yeah, keep those. Keep um, those there for now. Yeah. We can choose later. So if you guys both throw like fists right now, so we have count as this is going to be rolled two. One. Okay, I thought it was. I have rolled. These guys have rolled once. I thought each individual roll was. A no, 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 no. Okay, got it. So, yeah. Because we all can if do it. Roll, maximum. Roll and lock it in. Oh, boys, we're getting there. All right, so it's. It's all on me. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, so that means what, well, what happens when we got it? What does when it we say? get it, success. Your chanting is harmonious. The door opens to reveal a hidden cache. Each player may gain one HP or draw an item card. Do you think we could be? We, do you think we could give a harmonious chant? We, we need life right now. Like if, we, like it's going to take at least two turns to fight a fight the boss. And that's one card away. Yeah. And right now I'm at three. Mike, you're at two. Yeah, we need help. I mean, the guard can take an item, right? The guard can take an item. He just can't carry them. Sure. We can only carry one more item anyway, so we might so as well just all gain all life. life right? He can't yeah. go above yeah. three, correct? He cannot. So if we're taking so, a oh, guard is at three. Oh, right? oh, 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 hey, it was liquid luck. Harmoniously, we we got healed. <laughs> all right, so we need to farm oh, a lot of oh, uh, a lot of health here. All right. Uh, Wait. So what happens? So if the guard hits, he's just stunned. Yeah. It's, if he deals damage to them, that person does not attack yeah. at the end of that round. Yeah, he basically like the yeah, he prevents them from doing damage. Okay, let's. A lot of text on that card. Man. Okay, guard, open this door. Two lines of text. Ah! Ah! With a scream! Ah! Ah! An armored figure hurls towards you. You recognize his voice immediately. The captain of the guards. Oh man! Whoa! Whoa! Captain of the captain of guards. The Lord. It's oh! So deep. Or, or I know you. I ain't gonna stand for this anymore. <laughs> the captain of the guards himself has found you. Be in combat, combat special. Whenever you would remove a chapter die by hitting this enemy, roll it instead. If the result is cunning, do not remove it. Put it back, cunning side up. Sorry for destroying your ears, yo. -yo. Was, that, was that on? Was that on us yelling about the guard, or was that about us being harmonious? <laughs> So there's a little I bit love of it though. The defecting guard Dude, opens the door so and sees you. Rec he recognizes him. How would we recognize Man. him? It makes so much sense. What I love it. Odds. This okay. game is great. Oh, you guys want your die. Yeah. Right, I didn't so realize I was I, holding them up. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> oi! 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 Captain! It's not what it looks like. It is. Okay. You're really drawn to this Deej Tano over here. <laughs> okay, sweet. Alright, so we're just fighting him now? We're, oh yeah, we're fighting. What did it say about cunning? The results, uh, cunning? If we, whenever we remove a die, we re-roll it. If it's cunning, it comes back cunning side up. Okay. Uh, he's hitting for two. Do you want to rest? You're at three. Oh, good lord. Um, wait, who's at two? Oh, that's three. You're at three. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll rest. Jesus. Then I'll probably have to rest next turn. Oh, we'll see. Oh, welcome, uh, welcome back, if, Ben. If, you but the thing is, our guard is almost guaranteed to like mess him up. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take the guard's eyeball because by hitting him, he doesn't deal damage this round. Ooh, I about that's that. gas. Not my eyeball. Oh, and then we got the I eyeball and two uh, cun uh, yeah, cunning and, and two wisdom. So we do have three. to roll them again. Wait, all of them or just the one that was the eyeball? No, no, no. Whenever you would remove, whenever oh, you would remove geez. a chapter die by hitting this enemy, roll it instead. So if we removed a chapter die with this, it wouldn't trigger. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. No cunning. Oh, Sweet. So we that cunning. Okay, got it. So gotcha. if we only get one fist, we can re guarantee yeah, okay. a fist removal. Uh, I, mean, I should rest or my chance. How much health do you have? We're each at four. 
Um, who's got the least chance? Well, you guys both do. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you have this, so. I, say, I would say that. Mike might need to. I was going to well, say, I rest or... because if you get a double, that's a fist. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so so Mike we, rest. yeah we've, our chances of getting a fist here are very high. Okay. If we only manage to get a single... Yeah, yeah well, welcome back, Ben. Uh, you're coming no, here basically near the end. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So we well, got it anyway, so. once we beat this guy, which we did, we're moving on to the boss. Uh, we, we lost the first game, um, so now we... Well, we, we, we haven't guaranteed killing him yet. Yeah, oh, yeah that's so true. we got to roll that's these true. now? Mm-hmm. Uh, which one... Which did, What did the... Who rolled this? The I rolled that, okay. Yeah. But we also all rolled blocks, blocks so, so even if he... You know, the card doesn't... kind of just want this to blow right now. No, yeah. no. He's, he's good. So oh, we destroyed him. We companion cards, so pretty much we have an empty... We have a added character to the party. That Boy. Has a life total and has to die. The defecting guard just defeated the guard captain. If that's not, you know, a, a movie, you know, I don't know what it is. That's right. cinematic. Is the guard opening the door? Uh, well, first items. we get an item. Yeah. Let's see what, what's there. A curse! Oh! oh. This oh, it's, it's our yeah, prisoner like, oh, friend. Man. Ghost chick. She's back. back. Boys, remember me. <laughs> <laughs> we back. Uh, just in time, too, yeah. Let's have um, her open that door. Open that door. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Oh, man. So we've got the events. Uh, oh, man, yeah. Give, give we're we're just stacking Here's companions. Do you have, do you have uh, his die? I do. Okay, awesome. Actually, scoot him up a bit here. Yeah, um, plenty of room. Let's put this over there by the other stuff. Yeah. Okay, it's very important, though, that the spirit opens the door. Yeah, the spirit is going to open the door. We're now on the boss fight. All right. All right. Wait, oh, just to be yeah. clear, spirit's opening the door, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, spirit will open the door, but read the text there. Do not read until you have... Comp oh, okay. This is it. You have reached the final challenge. One last obstacle stands between you and freedom. Turn over now. Oh, again? The Dark One! Your pitiful trinkets are no match for my dark magic. As you, our spirit, enters the Dark One's presence, any items you are carrying vaporize. Other players keep theirs. Yeah. Discard them now. Begin combat. And that is why you always have a companion. Exactly. Open <laughs> the door. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Take note, folks. Your, your trinkets could have gotten... Companions destroyed. really nerfed the Dark One. Because yeah. before this, we would have to, like... Do mental math because it's yeah. who's opening this door right. and the odd so, chance. Right. Uh. So I'll set up a. So if you want to roll three die here, Davis. Three die? Don't you mean five die? Uh, no, they don't count for that. They don't, they count, don't for count for that. that? Yeah. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah. <laughs> Man, yeah, we're, double we're, check. We were coming in stacked. No, I, I looked at it just the other day. I'm pretty sure it's it. But oh man, no mites. Got one. Got one mites. Um, and what do their specials do um, they count in the as blocks? They count as double. Right, blocks at, in combat. During combat with a boss, it counts only as a block, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so the spirit's so. just kind of going to do her own thing. Wait, guard. Uh, Where's the uh, guard? I so got this. he's going to be doing three damage. What's our health at? Uh, four for me, five for Mike, uh, five for Paul, three for guard. Okay. So guard's going to die. Um, well, unless he hits him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so. Cool. Whatever the oh, guard whoa. rolls. So wait, if the if he rolls anything, he gets a hit though. Well, if not, the thing is, he could roll his special, and then he just blocks. All right. All right. So uh, it's taking three. So I don't think it matters if I rest. Because either way, if I rest, it's still two. It's still two. Because like you. Yeah, because like either one of you is gonna go to two, and it's still yeah. a two. Let's, get, let's get in here. He's the guard's gonna hit him. He's not gonna. Guard is damage. guaranteed to, gonna, to survive. He's just rolling in. Done. Okay, so let's just keep that there for now because we yeah. we might not want. What Double eyes. I'm blocking anyway. What's our guard? Oh, guard. Guy? guard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, he. Okay. So let's get these all together. So the spirit did, did an asterisk. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, so we have another right. asterisk, an eyeball, and a fist. So there's only one asterisk left. And we got rid of a fist. Yep. Davis, Davis what did you roll? Uh, asterisk. A single asterisk? Yep. What if you were to re-roll and get a double asterisk? All right, we'll just discard this and re-roll then. Oh, <laughs> that's, <David. laughs> that's over here. Double asterisk! <laughs> All right, well, there. Nothing happened. Okay. All right, I wanted to be dramatic. All right, Tanner, so I'm at one. No, the, uh, all the eyeballs are gone. Yeah, oh, all the eyeballs are yeah. gone? Oh, yeah. crap. No, there was three. 
You rolled a yeah, double. Yeah, I rolled a double. Oh. Somebody else rolled a double. Oh, yeah, rolled I rolled a one. All right. And then, and then one of these is gone, right? Yep. Yeah, I took the one off. Right? Oh, are no, we there down three. to... There were three of those. Was, oh, there was three. Yeah. You only got one off? Okay, yeah. my bad, my bad. So you guys are at two. I'm at one. Guard is dead? No, he rolled up. He blocked. He rolled up. He blocked. <laughs> but I say, like, regardless of whatever happens around, the guard is uh, is sticking so around. we've got a lot of high wisdom mm-hmm. dudes. We only need to take out two. How much damage is he going to do? Three? Three, and we're de- we're all going to die. Yeah, yeah. I don't think any of us can uh, oh, wait. rest. Once per round, you roll a double, you get to roll again. I've not been doing that at all. So I rolled a double eyes. Doesn't matter. All right. Okay. Um, so to make sure. Fist, great, good start. That's, I'm the bush up. Eyeball, not what we need. This is we have. You guys are the worst. All Did right. Die to this? Well, not if the guard gets. <laughs> Paul's rolling like six dice. Yeah, but none of these guys are good. Oh, let's see. Oh. No! There we it did is. it. Wait, who who got the finishing the, blows? It wasn't it was, me. It was the spirit and you. You and the spirit. Oh man. Oi. Good j- man. We all made it out too. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> We've never done this well. We got out with both companions. What's that? Oh man, that was good stuff. We escaped. He is oh, dead. I was ready to give my life for the cause, but it's nice to be alive. Hey Tanner, now that I let you out, uh, you, how about you go get a cup of tea? The bishop and the spirit can go. I mean, so chill, I guess. So congrats to us. We we beat the dark one. Oh, is there a victory, Lord? Uh, no, there's no victory one. But um, I wanted to say, do we want, do we want story time? Do we want me to read? It's only two pages. Do you want me to read uh, <laughs> the, the lore one. of the dark one? I, I know Yo-Yo is gonna say yes regardless. <laughs> I'd but, like um, to know the dark one. Yeah, because I was gonna say scrub. Because there's there's the death book, which is uh, gives us like the death of how we died uh, to dudes. But I don't know if there's a book about for when we actually win. Um, <laughs> yes, a big caps lock yes from, from Yo-Yo. Um, <laughs> like hard mode, too, with our, with our characters, <laughs> exactly. Bishop yeah, and Mason. All right, well, we, we've got a new comics uh, corner right here, so gather around everybody. Floor time. Exactly. Yeah, Davis, you ready? Yeah. All right. Come now, my child, hurry up, or the Dark One will get you. For centuries now, mothers have warned their children thus upon the tender act of tucking them into bed uh, on a chill winter's night. Uh, the softly spoken fable is usually met with wide-eyed awe and nervous laughter, or perhaps a, hearty, a healthy dose of true fear. And yet, uh, little do those know whose words, how close they come to be speaking truth, how much reality lies in this time-honored fantasy. For the Dark One is more than a frivol- frivolous bedtime tale, it is the very essence of darkness, the spirit of night from which those mothers shield their babes with <laughs> there he is, uh, with firm walls, thick blankets, and sweet kisses. For all eternity, it has harvested the souls of the departed. Not only is it capable uh, of killing without question to quench the, its endless thirst, but worse, of then imbuing those devoured souls with a strange manner of living death. These monstrous entities form its host, plaguing the night. Uh, securing its dominance. They move its shadows, lurking in the dark, watching always for an opportunity to persecute the good and true and to usher their souls to the feet of the Dark One. Armored corpses rising from their tombs, ethereal spirits granted insidious form, skeletal creatures hauled back into grotesque animation. All are the product of its dark magic, its sinister will, and all are bent solely on dragging new souls to their death. For only then can the Dark One draw its power. Only in the silence of what lies beyond can the words offer its ritual take their application. Uh, there is nowhere it can go. And uh, for every soul it holds the trap, the secret lure, the method through which to divert their senses, distracting them just long enough that it might enter their world, take form and steal upon them. Uh, it speaks to us in dreams, drawing us out of our magic beds uh, as we slumber. It is the purveyor of dark magic, a force as strong as it is mysterious. It is not known how it first came to channel its destructive power, only that in doing so, its once human form was entirely consumed. Those few who understand say it now stalks between dimensions, free of bonds of time, seeking out new realms of darkness in its expanse. It returns only to haunt its earthly domains, for they, like no other, can feed its hunger so readily. The Dark One is always hunting, always seeking to destroy those who threaten its source of power. Above all, its enemies are the clergy, 
the abbots, priests, and bishops of the realm. Their in time. Their incessant quest, incessant quest for the afterlife, their holy power of the relics, uh, the belief they inspire in the souls of the faithful. These are the constant bane to its sinister ends. It is they who form the final barrier, the thin veil that prevents the Dark One's goals of eternal darkness. The question is, how long can it hold? When the chill nights of winter draw in, mothers would do well to heed their own warning. Ooh, and there we have it. This time it took a spirit and a mason exactly, to yeah, finish him off. Exactly, yeah. that for me? What, what's up? <laughs> I, just shut up. The Dark, the dark One, uh, they hate, they hate uh, the, the bishop that, that toppled him. It was it was your power that kept I us alive, that. Davis. Yeah, this is uh. Found all sorts of sick. Yeah, yeah. The book itself is actually pretty dope. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like like we said, we have one um uh the PDF form of the death one for how we die, um and that one is basically they've got tales of all of the bosses, but also all of the characters. So mm -hmm. uh, we could have read you know the the intro for the abbots um and all the other ones, but um we just got uh. We just got a little bit about the dark one there. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for coming on out. Um, had a good time playing this. Uh, always fun just kind of fussing around uh, board games here. If you like that kind of stuff, let us know. Um, we can definitely do more of it, hopefully in the coming weekends. Um, yeah, next games. Different games, older games. Um, but yeah, no, this one in particular we, we like a lot. So uh, really our win record against the dark one's pretty high. Everyone else we've died a lot. Too. Yeah, the the dark one's not that tough. Uh, the mothers don't know what they're talking about. I mean, just just, just grow. Just bring a spear along, and the dark one just crumbles. Well, the thing is, like now that we know what what it is, usually we just give all our items to one player, sure, so that we don't sure, get yeah. blown out. The first time we, the first oh time we did, we God. talked for like seven minutes on who should open the door. Yeah, exactly. And it and came down to me after we like all the good <laughs> items, and then he just like just yeah. gets them all discarded. We, we didn't. We didn't, we didn't I, I ran out of the store. We didn't heed our mother's warnings, uh, and we paid dearly. We for took it. way too long figuring out like who needed what for the boss battle. And then it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. we all play some Uno, man. Yeah. Uno flip though. Uno flip nasty. Yeah. Check that one out. Maybe maybe some Uno flip next time. Yo 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 says, uh, "Dang, sad. I kind of missed most of it." Um, yeah, I mean it's it's a bummer uh, that you missed it. Fortunately, uh, it's on our YouTube page. If you go to pastimes.net/social, uh, we've got the link to our YouTube page there. If you want to watch any of the archive versions of this, um, to catch up. Um, multiple cams next, next time. Yo yo. Hopefully, um, we're trying to get more cams here. We've got the laptop one. It's kind of. Not that great, at least for what we need. So we're gonna try and get some more webcams in, so we could yeah, like have like a dedicated uh, different card cams. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks everybody for coming on out. We hope you had a good time, uh, and we will see you on Monday for some Pokemon uh, Poke Packs with Pokemon Morris. Uh, we will see you guys then. Later. Bye.